for forcing the players to engage. By having that third thing that they have to fight over, which mm -hmm. is the Nana, then it forces a lot of those similar interactions that you might see in doubles, which is simply, am I going after your teammate? Do you want to come in and take damage? Do I want to take the, get the hits on your teammate, take damage, and call it a day? What do I want to do? And that actually spices up that matchup quite a lot. So really glad I got to cast that one, actually. Yeah. That was fun. Yeah, it was, that was good stuff. But right now, we, we're going to change some gears here. Going from the last matchup to Wizrobe. <laughs> that hair, man. <laughs> Wizrobe and Blangelo. So Falcon Luigi going to be the matchup. And uh, Wobbles, you know how this matchup works out? Juggles. Yeah. Ken okay. Falcon, his up air is extremely good. And that's kind of all I really want to say about it but it has remarkable priority up and in front of it. Mm. It's very hard to break through, even with a strong combo breaker like Luigi's Nair, especially if the Falcon is on point with the spacing. But on the other hand, Falcon is a fast faller. He's also giant, so it's pretty easy to chew him up with things like down smashes. And then when you start getting things like soft Nair at the mid percents, you can start linking those into things like down air and forward air, push Falcon off the level. And then, you know, do, you do what you do. Yep. All right, Wizrop already looking for a knee. Leia just trying to get some offense started. Percent relatively close. Yep. And that's another nasty thing is that once Luigi hits a certain percent, you don't get down air knee as Falcon. He is so floaty that it just doesn't connect. So you're actually stuck. Um, just hitting him with up airs, then he can DI those up and in because, again, he is so floaty. He's not worried about getting hit by a second one. Then you've got to kind of take your time. You've got to watch out. You don't want to get clipped by an error down here. And that really does diminish uh, some of the KO power that Falcon happens, has, especially on a level like this. That aerial drift coming into play for Falcon. Luigi, not the best air mobility, so he can have a tough time if he makes the wrong call going for an going for an edge guard. Wow, Wizrobe right there. Getting the knee to back air. Bleo with the misfire. Wizrobe trying to follow up off of the knee. Will not get it. Up tilt coming through to cover the edge. Bleo just eating a knee instead. So down two stocks already. Wizrobe looking good. Luigi getting the spike hitbox on the down air. An excellent tech chase, but also excellent DI. We saw Blea actually scooting back to the right, anticipating the drift back. Yep. But he did manage to take that stock, and he really is one. It'll be an effort, but one filthy juggle away from being able to bring it back to even. Very nice, just forcing Wizrobe off with the F tilts. Oh man, a fortunate miss there. That was a huge situation. And he has put on a ton of damage, and he did a great job of clipping Wizzy out of his double jump. But now that Wizzy's back in neutral, it's going to be a lot harder. Oh, but an excellent edge guard. Nice, good down there. Going to seal the deal on that stock. Percents. Pretty close stocks evened up here. Two apiece. Yep. And then we see it. Oh, air up air. Leia actually still going to the right just a tiny bit while charging that forward B ends up dying off the right blast zone. Yeah, very unfortunate for him. Oh, very nice read. And this is what I'm talking about with the, some of those nasty juggles. He opts to go for the forward throw rather than an up throw, wants to try and set up an edge guard rather than a st straight up combo. Oh, another back air. Was he looking to knee him out of that one? Yeah, very nice. And a two stock here in game one. Yep. Wizrobe over Blazello. All the DI in the world isn't going to save you when you're at the very edge of the stage like that. I yeah. don't care if it's Dreamland or not. He, hey, he came close, <laughs> but it, at that point, you just got to start thinking about your counter pick. And counter pick, hmm, he's going back. We're going back to Dreamland. All it's right. the snooze button. <laughs> That's what that is. Five more minutes. Five more minutes of dreams. He has him in a very scary position. Nice knee getting the trade. That was definitely in Wizrobe's favor. Yeah, with a no double jump. 
Yeah, that will do it for that stock. So quick. It took 20 seconds just about. And Wizrobe eliminating Blayagello's first. Ooh, really good bait on that getup attack from Blayagello. Is he going to be able to turn this into a stock? No, the perfect drift back in magnet hands from Wizrobe to keep him alive to fight another day. Oh man, Blaya charging that down B. Oh man, it misses the karate chop. He's out of jumps again. There has to be a forward B misfire right what? there. What? Wizzy? You there? Whoa, all right. He paid for that one, man. Yeah. Blaya managing to, uh, well, you know, he got a second chance. There aren't a lot of those in melee, but sometimes you get them. And he took full advantage of it. Misfire? He's really open. Oh, that was actually really good. Since he's been using so many rapid forward Bs, putting the extra charge on that made Wizzy uh, move into the stage a little more, anticipating oh. that he'd go higher. Wow, Blea going for a risky play. Yep. The runoff back air would have probably killed, to be honest with you, or yeah. set up a kill. The thing is, though, is that um, he, it felt like he was behind, but the truth is they were both at high percent on the third stock. He didn't yep. really have to do something like that to turn it around. Nice down air, and that will eliminate Wizrobe's second stock. We are two apiece here, game two. Ooh, and that little creep up smash underneath. With that little back bend, he's actually sneaking under Falcon's high short hop. And then with the burst movement of the wave dash, he's actually able to get in even more under. Uh -huh. <laughs> he's getting these little trades with the up smash, but since Falcon's actually getting popped up, he just has these light hitboxes out when the trade happens. Nice, good stuff by Wizrobe getting that back air in, and Blaya down to his last stock. Wizrobe sitting at two. Really smart play by Blaya there, getting the Smash DI down and into the ground. Doesn't want to let any big juggles make this deficit expand even more. Wizzy keeping the pressure on. Yeah, and Wizrobe just launching them across the stage. Blaya gets the up throw down air. This time the F tilt coming out. It's entirely possible he wanted that to be. Woo! That right there is what I'm talking about. Yep. That slide under up smash using that back bend actually manages to completely defeat the Nair. Another one. I feel right. <laughs> That's so cool. It's the last one. Mm. Oh, yeah. And the knee, that will do it for that. Yep. So a 2-0 so far for Wizrobe over Blayagello. Let's see what adjustments he can make because his tournament life is on the line right now it is now the question is oh, well there's the answer haven't even asked it yet that's <laughs> a top tier jeopardy strats right there yeah what is fd it's a stage without platforms it's going to give wizzy a lot fewer options for recovery which means we might just see uh blaya actually connect with some Waveland up B yeah. to punish the recovery. We might get to see Shoryu again. That's going to depend on him getting Wizrobe off the stage to begin with. That first stock, no damage onto Wizzy in this game three. He's yeah, very nice. Good down throw, gets the up airs, just maintaining position. Very important. Controlling Luigi. Up air, up air, knee. And this is a rough life right now for Blea. Down two stocks, down two games. That's the big trade-off with FD, is it streamlines your punishes, but it does the exact same thing for the opponent. But again, upward DI from Blaya gonna help him get out of that up air string. And now he's got total control over this edge guard. I think that's gonna be it. He's gonna take that edge. Wizzy can't make it back. Nope. Good try by Wizro, but not enough Blaya's edge guard game. Keeping it simple, getting it done. Right there, just trying to get some trades. That's really excellent because now Wizzy's at an excellent juggling percent. And there are a lot of combos that just aren't gonna work on Blair right now, so he's just gotta make sure his DI is on point, doesn't go off the level to anything weird. Oof. And there we go, yeah. there's that shore you can we were talking about. All right, so the crowd getting into it. They wanna see their boy Blaya do some work. Well, I'll see more melee. Yep. We came here for a reason. I think I might be crazy, but I think I saw Blaya's double jump circles come out. I think he lost it there. All right, Blaya now down to his tournament stock here. 
what magic can he make happen? He's in the danger zone right now because he is at magic combo percent against Falcon in this matchup. If he can weather it, he's going to have a shot. Just got to get through this storm of up airs. Oof. Very good stuff. Oh, man, a whiz rope answering with the Raptor boost. Down throw, almost gets a sweet spotted knee. Is that going to be it? It no, is. But yeah, it was enough. It was definitely enough. And that was such a clever combo finisher in the middle of FD. Yeah. Going for the down air.